all right you guys welcome back to another video man so we got the blue oyster coat with uh don't fear the reaper audio hmm hey this is uh i i feel like i'm gonna hear something interesting there's a lot of symbolism on this picture um with the upside down question mark cross thingy and the four cards like a magician so i wonder what's going on let's get it Let me know what you guys call the style of this music, man, because I always, always like the vibe this gives off there. And you listen to that bass line right there. It, it gives you feelings of nostalgia for some reason in my eyes. I love that bass line. I just love it. Oh, wow. Interesting. Don't feel the fear of the Reaper. Romeo and Juliet are. Uh, hmm. Let me rewind that real quick. Let me rewind that. I feel like I should go find the lyrics, but I'm going to try to listen one more time. So forgive me for the pausing. He said, baby, take my hand. Don't fear the reaper. Hmm. That's interesting. It's hard for me to, uh, I'm going to let the song keep going. Okay. The only reason I'm really stopping is to give it, you know, give, you know, so it don't get copyright claim, but it, it always does. So I don't even know why I stopped, honestly. There's some interesting new lyrics though, I will say that.
I, what I felt like right there, going sonic, uh, sonically from the last verse, take my hand, don't fear the reaper. Uh, some of the lyrics kind of symbolize death or the the transition into death. So where are we at this certain point where the song kind of go into this um, intense drum solo with the changing of pace? Like there's some drama, there's some heated energy going on here. Uh, just going by what I think it is, it's like you felt for, like you do fear the reaper or the reaper's going to take you somewhere that you don't want to be at. But I could be entirely wrong. This is just my understanding. Wow. And then we go back to the baseline of the song, adding some peak into it. I will say this. I will say this. I think the second and third verse and that little, um, that break right in between the second and third verse is key to really understanding what's happening in the song. This, I feel like there's a transition between life and death. It's saying in the second verse, key thing in the second verse, I noticed it said, take my hand. Now, in the third verse, somebody's on their deathbed. Don't fear, take his hand. And then talking about the process and the transition into going. So when you're going into it, you look back, you, you know, like there was some key things. I hope you guys noticed that with me. I like this. I like the energy of it. Um, I really didn't understand the magician stand from the from this picture. So um that's crazy. Don't fear the reaper. All right. It, I could say overall it says don't fear death, then embrace it. So with that being said, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, man. And uh, if you like my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe and share. If you guys got any other uh, suggestions y'all want, you can feel free to email me. Um, use the, uh, the donation links, the PayPal donation link and the uh, buy me a coffee donation link to get you guys' favorite artists in the queue. I do everybody. I don't I don't view Chase unless it's coming from me. When, when it comes to what you guys request, I do my best, I do the best I can to uh, get those reactions out in a timely manner. Um, I do have a day job still, so please be patient with me. And uh, I thank you guys for always uh, supporting me in the comments, man. So I love y'all. Y'all have a good one, man. Peace.